What's up guys, this is Seven Silkmuth here. It's been a while since I've done a video. Um, I've actually been moving and that tends to take a lot more time than we anticipate. But um, here is a long awaited video that I've been wanting to do for a while. This is a pick, a pick video on Dunlop picks overall. Um, what I did is I basically got as many of the Dunlop picks as I thought I would, I would like. I put some of my old favorites in this too and I want to kind of go through and tell you my my opinions. Um, this is going to be a part one of a part of a two-part video. I'm going to start with what I have, and I'm going to, in the second part, actually demonstrate, tell you what I like about the, my favorites. So I'll probably choose maybe top five or so, and tell you what I like about those. So, so basically, we have three different rows. The top row is what I consider to be the sort of jazz pick. Hence, well, you know, we have the jazz threes, which are also jazz picks, but the top row are the thicker picks, which I find uh, to be more useful in jazz styles. So I put this on top. The middle row are the Art Artist Series picks, um, and the bottom row are sort of all the incarnations of the Jazz 3 size or style. Um, I think this one isn't technically a Jazz 3 pick, but um, it's the same shape for the most part. So let's talk about the ones up top. We have right here, we have the Prime Tone on top right here. It's super thick, um, doesn't have a super, super sharp point. Um, very interesting pick. The uses, I thought I'd really like this one, but I'm not really sure. Um, I tend to favor the more traditional um, jazz tone. This is the thickest jazz tone that they make. This is the 208 right here on top. Um, this is probably my f one of my favorites of these thicker style picks, or the specialty picks as, as they call it, are called. Um, we have the tri-tip stubby, which is the first pick I have up here in the stubby line, um, or the tri-stubby. Now this is a great pick, the only problem is I think it's way too big. If they made it, uh, this is this pick about half the size, I'd absolutely love it. And then we have um, the stubby line right here. So we have two of the big stubbies, and we have, a, I think this is the th smaller stubby. Um, and my favorite of the stubby is the nylon stubby, for whatever reason. I just really like this pick a lot. The unique thing about these picks is it has kind of like a little place for your fingers, a little sort of indention right here, a little concave part on both the front and the back. I kind of wish that the indention would be more sort of straight across in this way to kind of fit my thumb, but that's just how I pick, so it's, you know, that's more of my preference. And then the this stubby right here, it's more of like a smaller stubby. Um, obviously not as big as the big stubby, which I like as well, but uh, it's sort of like a stubby and a jazz tree combined, which is great. So let's move on to the artist picks. We have we have James Hetfield's pick, which is really cool. This is the Black Fang. To me, it's kind of like a combination between Dunlop 96mm, which is was my go-to pick for years and years and years, and a sharper jazz pick. We have the John Petrucci right in the middle, which is based off the Jazz 3 and with his own tweaks, there's kind of a, it's on top we have kind of like a rough feel, rough kind of matte feel right here and then we have a more, I guess, total glossy part to when it, where it comes in contact with the string. Finally we have the Eric Johnson Jazz 3 which is very, 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 very close to the Jazz 3 but I find this one a little bit more, the finish is also a little more matte than, for example, the regular Jazz 3. This Jazz 3 has, a, the standard Jazz 3 has more of like a gloss finish. And this is more matte, so I guess this is the old school version. Um, of all of these three, I like, I've used actually the Eric Johnson Jazz 3 for a long time, off and on. Um, I also like the JP, John Petrucci Jazz 3. And finally, we have our Jazz 3 incarnations. We have the Pitch Black Jazz 3, okay, which, is like a Jazz 3, but it's kind of like the, it reminds me of this Tortex right here, um, very similar. We have the standard Jazz 3, the red one, which everybody knows about, which is my favorite. We have the black Jazz 3, which has a slightly different finish. Uh, we have the Altex Jazz 3, which is a great pick as well, it doesn't, it doesn't wear as quickly as either of these two. We have the Altex Jazz 3 2.0, which kind of has 
almost like an arch top look to it. It's not flat like the other Jazz 3s, so it's kind of like a, almost kind of like another incarnation of this guy and one of these as far as it being a little bit thicker, having more of a shape to it. And we have the Max Grip Jazz 3s, which if you have a problem holding on your pick, these are awesome. But over the years, I've tend to favor the Jazz 3s and then also thicker picks. So, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, just to let you guys know what's out there, because a lot of people don't, you know, with a lot of these picks I have not seen in stores. So, in part two, we're going to check out some sound samples, some of me actually playing and, and telling you what I like about each pick. So, I'll see you then, guys. Enjoy.